Bwana asifiwe. Anasema kwa Kiswahili Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pause for a moment before I enter the word to give thanks. Naomba kabla sijaenda kwenye neno nitulie kidogo nishukuru to the angel of, of the of, of the Lord in this house. Napenda ni mshukuru malaika wa Bwana wa nyumba hii Bishop Somi ambaye ni baba yetu askofu Somi Severua Hebu naomba tumpigie makofi mazuri baba yetu Anasema ukiweza hebu simama na jamani tuchangamke kidogo simama wote kwa miguu yako for your good. Na kama utashukuru kwa ajili ya hii kazi kubwa ambayo baba askofu ameifanya kutualika wote hapa hebu mshangilie Yesu kwa makofi mengi. Hallelujah. Tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwa ajili ya askofu pamoja na mke wake. I want to thank Apostle Steve is interpreting. Ah, uh, anapenda pia kumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili yangu ambaye pia nina kamilimani. Apostle Paul. Ah, uh, pamoja na Apostle Paul. And I want to thank the team from the USA. Napenda niwashukuru wote ile timu iliyotoka kule Marekani. Hebu tumpigie Yesu makofi kwa ajili yao. They have obeyed God to be here. Walimtii Mungu ndio maana wako hapa. As I did obey God to be here. Ah, uh, njinsi nilivyomtii Mungu nikawepo hapa. Apostle Anne is not with us. She's not feeling well. Ah, uh, jioni ya leo yule mama yetu Apostle Aneta yuko nasi hapa. But we're going to pray for her. Alikuwa ajisikii vizuri na tutamuombea uponyaji. Wangapi wanajua kwamba Mungu wetu ni mponyaji? Amen. Watu wa Mirerani ninawasalimu wote kwa jina la Yesu. I said I greet you in the name of Jesus. Sijawasikia nasema nawasalimu kwa jina la Yesu. Jesus is the purpose for this gathering. Ah, uh, Yesu ndiye kusudi la mkutano huu. We here because of what he has done for us. Tuko hapa kwa ajili ya ile kazi aliyofanya kwetu. And we want to proclaim his love to the nation. Na tunapenda kutangaza upendo wake kwa mataifa yote. He established us to establish his kingdom here on earth. Na si tuthibitishe ufalme wake hapa duniani. Because he died and rose again. Maana alikufa akafufuka. He poured his spirit upon us. Na akamimina roho wake juu yetu. And he ordered us to go. Na anatutaka tuende. Go in his name. Tuende katika jina lake. Today Leo I'm going to speak to you Napenda ninene nanyi about the God who guides his people Kuhusu Mungu anayewaongoza watu wake I want to say to you that your your steps have not have not been ordered by you to be here today Napenda nikwambie neno hili kwamba hatua zako hujaziongoza mwenyewe kuja hapa leo I am not here by my own will Mimi sijaja hapa kwa mapenzi yangu I don't think the teams are na hata wenzangu tuliotoka Marekani hawajaja hapa kwa atu, kwa mapenzi yao. Hatua zetu zimeongozwa na Mungu. I've been praying. Nimekuwa nikiomba and the Lord woke me up at 3:30 in the morning. Ah, na Bwana akaniamsha leo uh, alfajiri saa tisa Simply said Jericho. Ah, na akaniambia Jericho. Jericho I found it many places in the Bible. Ha, na ile jina Jericho ninaliona sehemu nyingi katika Biblia. But I want to begin where the stronghold was. Ah, na ninapenda nianze na yale maneno mazito. After the death of Moses, baada ya kifo cha Musa, God have chosen a man. Mungu akamchagua mtu. This man was Joshua. Na huyo mtu aliitwa Yoshua. He always been next to Moses. Huyo Joshua kila saa alikuwa anaenda sambamba na Musa. In fact at the cliff of Mount Oreb when Moses came with the glory of the Lord in his face, na unajua kule mlima Orebu wakati Musa alikutana na ule utukufu Joshua was waiting near the cliff of the mountain. Ah, uh, Yeshua alikuwa anamsubiri pale karibu na kilele cha mlima. No wonder after the death of Moses. Ndio maana baada ya kifo cha Musa, God put his anointing upon him. Mungu akachukua yale mafuta akaweka juu ya Yeshua. Joshua wherever you put your feet na akamwambia Yosua mahali ndani zako zitakapokanyaga nimekupa hapo na Mungu akaanza kutembea na Yosua but you know that as you walk toward God whatever he designed for you na unajua unapoanza kutembea ukielekea kwenye lile kusudi ambalo Mungu amekuwekea kutakuwa na upinzani 
Let's read the text from Joshua chapter 6. Tusome kutoka Yoshua mlango wa 6. Now, he said the Lord said to Joshua, I'm going to do great things and you may sanctify yourself. I'm going to do great things, sanctify yourself and I'm going to verse 6. Yeah, right here. Okay. Ah. Uh, Mungu akamwambia Yeshua ujitakase maana ninaenda kufanya mambo makubwa. Okay? So God tells Joshua he's going to do great thing in his midst. Mungu anamwambia Yeshua ataenda kufanya mambo makubwa katikati yao. First they had to cross the Jordan River. Maana walikuwa wavuke mto Yordan. God crossed them the Jordan River. Na Mungu akawasaidia kuvuka mto Yordan. Now they had to face their enemies. Walikuwa wakakabili maadui zao. And it was those people of 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 Jericho were giants. Na watu wa Jericho walikuwa majitu. And then the 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 the, the fortress was so big. Na ukuta ulikuwa mkubwa. Joshua would not be able to conquer Jericho in his own. Yeshua kwa uwezo wake asingeweza kushinda Jericho. As I woke up that morning, Ah uh, nilipokuwa asubuhi I remember when the youth the long kids were dancing here Nikakumbuka wakati hao watoto walikuwa wanacheza mahali hapa It brought me many years from my childhood Ah uh, inawezekana ni miaka mingi tangu nilipokuwa mtoto kama wao They dancing and dancing and dancing Walipokuwa wanacheza na kucheza I feel like there is a beat Nikasikia kwamba kuna You know a day when you when you when you hear the drum there is a beat Unapo piga ngoma hizi ngoma kuna kitu kinaitwa beat au mdundo and i remember when i was kid nikakumbuka nilipokuwa mdogo the people were, were the musician and the worship leader were singing wale waimbaji walikuwa wanaimba na wapiga vyombo wanapiga jericho 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 the wale, wall is down wale kwa wanaimba wimbo unasema yeriko yeriko ukuta ukaanguka na watoto wakicheza hapa nikasikia kwamba kuna mdundo fulani Jericho wall represent opposition ukuta wa Jericho unasimamia upinzani stronghold a ngome the wall was big a ulikuwa mkubwa i didn't know when i was a kid the wall was so thick nilipokuwa mdogo mimi sikufikiri kwamba huu ukuta ulikuwa mpana kiasi hichi as a minister of the gospel kama mhubiri wa injili when i study Niliposoma the wall of Jericho was so large so wide nikakuta ukuta wa Jericho ulikuwa mpana sana yale magari ya kijeshi kama mnayajua ya vita magari sita yangepishana juu ya ule ukuta ya kikimbia kifanya mazoezi and there is no way na hakuna njia Joshua Yeshua kule boka wall angeangusha ule ukuta but the god that is served lakini yule Mungu anayemtumikia give instruction unto him akampa maelekezo i said the god that is served Mungu anayemtumikia instruction unto Joshua akampa maelekezo i heard the lady say uh, singing earlier Yeah. The lady singing earlier. Yule binti aliyekuwa anaimba hapa alisema. I was told she said I know my God. Ah niliambiwa kwamba alikuwa anaimba wimbo anasema ninamjua Mungu wangu. I, I caught the part of the song and the lyric. Na mimi nikakamata kile kisemu. The Bible said a man or a woman who knows his God. Ah uh, nika, nikachukua nikakumbuka mstari unaosema watu wale wamjua Mungu wao. Watafanya mambo makubwa. Haijalishi ni sisi ni nani. Lakini inajalisha kama tunamjua huyo Mungu. Maana yeye ni Mungu wa nguvu zote. Yeye ni Mungu wa ukuu wote. Na na kama alipo utukufu anatawala katika mamlaka. And how many of you here think is is Wangapi hapa wanaamini ya kwamba huyo Mungu wetu anaweza? Kama unaamini Mungu anaweza sema amina. This God of Joshua is here right now. Huyo Mungu wa Yeshua yuko hapo ulipo sasa hivi. In fact he's here in a greater power. Yuko hapa na nguvu kubwa. He's here in the power of his Holy Spirit. Yuko hapa na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. God gives Joshua the the advice. Mungu akamshauri Yeshua. Ah uh, yale maagizo akampa. Go. Tell the people. Akamwambia nenda kaambie watu. Leading the way. Ah wanao ukaongoze. And then the people will be behind. Na watu watakuwa nyuma. Na watakizunguka ule ukuta mara sita. 
na mara sita mwe kimya 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 hallelujah na mara ya saba wakaendelea kumtii Mungu na kuzunguka ule ukuta na siku ya saba wakazunguka mara saba na walipomaliza Joshua akawaambia pigeni kelele there is a beat kuna mdundo it destroys stronghold huo mdundo unaangusha ngome the wall of jericho came stumbling down ukuta wa yeriko ukashuka ukaanguka did you hear what i say wewe ukunisikia nicho sema wall came down nasema ukuta wa yeriko ukaanguka ukaanguka ukuta wa upinzani ukaanguka god has promised god is fulfilling it mungu aliyehaidi anatimiza panic got into them Uh, wakaanza kupata mshtuko you probably said who was about to destroy these walls ah uh, una, unaweza uh, wakaanza kushangaa hivi ni nani alikuwa na mpango wa kuangusha ukuta wao Joshua didn't use an armor Joshua kutumia nyundo that shot was the shot of glory a shot of power Ul, ile kelele tu kelele iliyojaa utukufu na nguvu the breath of god destroyed the walls ya Mungu ikaangusha ule ukuta I said that the same power during the time of Pentecost. Nasema ile nguvu iliyoshuka siku ya Pentecost. Na roho bwana akashuka. It destroyed every principality. Ili anribu kila nguvu na mamlaka ya Mungu. Yesterday you heard about the fire of God, the glory of God. Jana tuliongea kuhusu moto wa Mungu. Today you hear about the breath of God. Na leo tunaongea kuhusu pumzi ya Mungu. It's the same power guiding his people. Ni nguvu ile ile inaongoza watu wa Mungu. Oh Jericho. Yeriko God will conquer your Jericho today. Mungu anaenda kukushindia Yeriko yako leo. Some of you are many in opposition. Wengi wengi wenu wana upinzani mkubwa. Some of you perhaps uh, they were dedicated you to the to the enemy to the devil to some spirit. Wengine wenu inawezekana walikukafizi kwa mizimu some, na kwa mamlaka za ngiza. Some of you your parents probably had practiced witchcraft. Uh, inawezekana wengine wenu familia yenu ni familia ya kishirikina lakini napenda nikwambie leo kila ngome inaenda kuanguka kwa jina la Yesu maana Mungu yuko hapa kuharibu kila kazi ya ngiza so that his people can conquer ili watu wake waweze kushinda so that his people can have access ili watu wake waweze kupenya na waweze kupenya kufikia chote ambacho Mungu ameandalia. Wangapi wenu wanajua kwamba Mungu hataki uendelee kuishi katika utumwa? Kama unaamini hivyo hebu upunga mkono. Na shetani ana neno lolote juu yako. There are many people who are living under the dominion of Satan. Watu wengi waliishi chini ya kifungo cha shetani. But I want to tell you that God is here. Lakini nataka nikwambie Mungu yuko hapa. God is here to set the captives. Mungu yuko hapa kuwaweka watu wafungwa huru. Can somebody cry hallelujah unto God? Kama unanisikia hebu piga kelele sema hallelujah. Na sema kama unanisikia sema hallelujah. 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 I believe Joshua was the type of Christ. Wangapi wanajua kwamba Yoshua alikuwa mfano wa Kristo? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After Joshua proceed to conquer the city. Baada ya Yoshua kushinda ule mji wa Yeriko, that was the first conquest. Huo ulikuwa ni ushindi wake wa kwanza. To get into the promised land. Ili akiingia kuikumiliki nchi ya Ari. When you stand for God. Unaposimama na Mungu, God will honor you. Mungu atakuheshimu. But remember that Joshua sanctified himself. Lakini kumbuka hatua ya kwanza Joshua alijitakasa na watu wake wakajitakasa. So we must sanctify our mind. Lazima tujitakasa. How do we sanctify ourselves? Tunajitakasaje? By allowing Jesus into our heart. Kwa kumruhusu Yesu ndani ya maisha yetu. By allowing the blood of Jesus to us. Kwa kuruhusu damu ya Yesu itutakase. By declaring we no longer for the world we want to live for. Kwa kutangaza sisi si wa ulimwengu tena, sisi ni wa Mungu. And the conquest of Jericho. Na ushindi wa Jericho. God was leading his people. Mungu alikuwa anaongoza watu wake. To victory. Ku, kwa ushindi Do you know who, who was with Joshua? Un, unajua ni nani alikuwa na Yeshua kwenda kushinda? Remember I said the act of the covenant was leading the way. Biblia inasema sanduku la Adano lilikuwa linatangulia mbele. The act of present were present God within his people. Lile sanduku la Adano lilikuwa linamwakilisha Mungu akiwa katikati ya watu wake. 
God loves his people and he dwells among them. Mungu anapenda watu wake. But today God dwells in your heart with his spirit. Mungu leo anaishi ndani yako kwa njia ya Roho Mtakatifu. Right now God is moving in our midst. Na sasa hivi anatembea katika sisi yetu. God is moving. Roho Mungu anatembea. Searching heart that is committed. Anaendelea kuchunguza mioyo iliyojitoa kwake. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. How many of you know God loves you? Wangapi wanajua Mungu anawapenda? Lift your hand and give him a praise. Hebu inua mikono miwili mpigie Yesu makofi kama unajua anakupenda. Nasema tangu milele na milele. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the people march, remember I mentioned that. Watu walipopiga hatua kutembea, things began to happen. Mambo yalianza kutokea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I believe that the spirit of God is moving here right now. Na ninaamini kwamba Roho Mtakatifu anatembea hapa. You sense a warmness in your heart. Unaanza kusikia joto moyoni. You whispering in your ears. Umeanza kusikia sauti masikioni mwako. Guiding you. Mungu akikuelekeza. Because he loves you. Maana anakupenda. As he what he wants you to do. Maana anataka kuna kitu anataka ufanye. I believe the march causes the beat. Ninaamini ya kwamba kule kutembea kunasababisha mdundo. Beat in the supernatural realm. Katika ulimwengu wa roho. And things happen. Unasikia kitu kinadunda na vitu vinaanza kutokea. Now when you see my brother dancing for Jesus. Ulipoona yule ndugu yangu yeye hapa akipiga sarasa kasi kwa ajili ya Yesu. He's leading the kids to do something. Na na aongoza watoto kucheza. Wanacheza. King David dance unto the Lord. Mfalme Daudi alimchezea Bwana. When you see the ark of the covenant enter. Alipoona sanduku la agano linaingia. Representing the presence of God. Amalo ni uwepo wa Mungu. The children were dancing. Watoto wakacheza. The master leading them. Ah wakiwa na 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 uimbaji akiwaongoza. What a beautiful thing to dance for the Lord. Ni jambo zuri sana kumuimbia na kumchezea Mungu. You see I was young now I'm old. Nilikuwa kijana sasa ni mzee. Mimi sio kijana tena. But I remember the song. Lakini ninakumbuka ule wimbo tulikuwa tunaimba. Tulikuwa tunakanyaga chini tukiimba yango ukuta umeanguka. Ninakumbuka ule wimbo. Wengine unakabiliana na mambo mazito. Unakabiliana na matatizo. Kumbuka haya matatizo yataanguka kwa jina la Yesu. Well, tii neno la Mungu. Wewe upinzani utaharibiwa kwa jina la Yesu. Nimekuja hapa kukwambia hilo kwa jina la Yesu. Neno la Mungu ni kweli. Hallelujah. Do you know when the children came one testimony I remember the first day I came here. Uh, unajua ushuhuda mmoja ninaokumbuka there was a mother that came in that came forward to accept Jesus ah uh, kuna mama mmoja alikuja kuokoka kipindi hicho i took note of this na nikajua you know i pay attention to the little detail because when we are in the midst of, uh, of God's people and the spirit of God is moving God will do things that amazing you unajua unikiwa kwenye uwepo wa Mungu na Mungu anaanza kufanya vitu Ninakuwa makini kuangalia ni nini Mungu anafanya katikati ya huo uwepo. When they say ask her, why did you come forward? Walipomuuliza kwa nini umesogea hapa? Accept Jesus because of my children. Akasema wow. nimekuja nime uh, kumkubali Yesu aniokoe kwa ajili ya watoto wangu. A mother Mama who did not want his children, her children to live under the dominion of Satan. Ambaye ataki watoto wake wakae chini ya utawala wa shetani. She looked forward to the next generation. Yeye anaangalia kizazi kijacho kimjue Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants to raise a new generation. Mungu anataka kuinua kizazi kipya. I love our host Bishop Ninampenda mwenyeji wetu askofu. When I met him there is something there is something about the man that I drove me to him. Ah nilipomuona tu kuna kitu kilikuwa kinanivuta kwake. Number one I believe it's the spirit of God in him. Na ninaamini ni roho Mungu aliyeko ndani yake. Secondly, jambo la pili. I look at the work. Nikaangalia hii kazi. This is not the man who's playing. Hii sio kazi ya mtu ya mchezo. I I I, I seen the kids Nikaona hapo shuleni watoto wanajifunza when it come to spiritual the learning as well ah uh, wanajifunza elimu ya kimwili au ya kidunia na upande wa, wa pili wanajifunza mambo ya kiroho and intellectually the learning as well na pia kiekima wanapata elimu ya kuongeza akili zao so is preparing them for the more 
Kwa hiyo Mungu ana askofu anawaandaa hao watoto pande zote kwa ajili ya kukabili ulimwengu. He's doing a good job and he must come and down. Anafanya kazi kubwa sana. Because he believes in his God. Maana anaamini katika Mungu wake. Hallelujah. 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 Mother, your obedience to the calling of God will save the next generation. Ah, mama utii wako kwa Mungu utaokoa kizazi kijacho. Can I use my own testimony? Naomba niwape ushuhuda wangu. I remember my mom. Namkumbuka mama yangu. She raised pretty much six boys at stuff. Alitulea na sisi tulikuwa wa, watoto wa kiume sita na hiyo ni kazi ngumu kwa mama. Only one girl. <laughs> yaani tulimsichana ni mmoja tu. I got one girl after me. I got one girl after me. I'm the first boy. Mimi ndio mzaliwa wa kwanza na baada yangu akaja msichana ambaye ndio msichana wetu kwetu peke yake. And after the girl. Baada ya huyo binti five boys. Wanaume wengine watano. But I remember my mom prayed for us early in the morning at noon and at night. Lakini namkumbuka mama yangu akituombea asubuhi, mchana na jioni. I used to hear said, God don't give me no vagabond. Alikuwa anamsikia akiomba akisema Mungu naomba usinipe watoto bure. Anatuombea na tufunika na damu ya Yesu. Anatuombea hekima. My daughter my my sister was in Dominican Republic with her husband preaching the gospel. Na sasa hivi tunapoongea huyo mdogo wangu yu, pamoja na mume wake wako katika nchi moja inaitwa Dominica wakihubiri injili. This time I'm here. Na mimi niko hapa Tanzania. With the wonderful people of Tanzania. Nikiwa na watu wazuri hao wa Tanzania. The others are engineers or whatever they doing. Wengine ni maengineer, wengine ni watu ambao Mungu amewabariki na kazi zao. I want to say to you God give no vagabond to my mom. Nataka nikwambie Mungu akumpa mtoto wa ovyo mama yangu, alimpa watoto wote wa wenye maana. I look at my country. Ninaangalia nchi yangu. It's in turmoil. Haiti. Nchi yangu alikozaliwa ni nchi moja inaitwa Haiti. Anasema sasa hivi iko katika hali mbaya. I had three acres of land and I had pretty much the same compound with bishop. Ah, nilikuwa na eka tatu nyumbani kwangu na zilikuwa kama hizi hapa za askofu. We are teachers. Ah, nikaweka shule pale na tulikuwa pia tunawalisha watoto. To whom much is given much is required. Na naomba niwaambie aliyekabidhiwa vingi atadaiwa vingi. God has done so much for me I want to bless the next generation. Mungu amenifanyia mambo mengi sana na nataka nibariki kizazi kijacho. After the earthquake in Haiti, uh, baada ya uh, ile lile tetemeko la ardhi mnayolojua lililopiga Haiti, there was a big lake called Lake Azwei. Uh, kulikuwa na, na ziwa moja kubwa lilikuwa linaitwa linaitwa ziwa Azwei. Whatever happened caused the lake to rise. Na ule lile tetemeko likasababisha maji ya lile ziwa kuinuka juu to the land. na yakafunika nchi nzima. I'm saying all this to say na in that area the thugs took over. Thugs are running Haiti now. Uh, what? Thugs, bandits. Uh, sasa, sasa hivi nakwambia Haiti imeharibika, imetawaliwa na makundi ya waizi the leaders did not think of the next generation maana viongozi hawakufikiria kuangalia kizazi kijacho that's why thank god for men like bishop mimi ndio na maana nashukuru mungu kwa watu kama askofu god is calling you leaders men and women of today mungu anawaita nyia wa viongozi wa kike na wa kiume leo to invest in the people of tomorrow ili mkaekeze kwa hiki kizazi kijacho hao watoto mnaoaona that's why jesus used joshua ndio maana yesu alimtumia yoshua to conquer canaan and to get into the city ili aweze kushinda nchi ya kanaani na kumiliki and he gave to them na akawapa wana wa israel now to say this nataka nikwambie hivi we seen to the conquerors the presence of god the presence of god as joshua go the presence of god kama vile yoshua alivyoenda na uwepo wa mungu nasi tunahitaji ule uwepo wa mungu and we see the instruction that joshua who is the faith and the word na na obey na tunaona yale maagizo ambayo yoshua alipewa ya neno alitii and thirdly 
the Lord showed up for him. Na jambo la tatu Mungu alijionyesha kwake. How did the Lord show up for Joshua? Mungu alijionyeshaje kwa Yoshua? He destroyed the opposition. Aliangusha ki ule upinzani. And I want to say this to you today. Nataka nikwambie leo. If you believe that God is with you now. Kama unaamini Mungu yuko pamoja nawe. If you believe in those words that been spoken right now today. Ukiamini haya maneno unayoyasikia sasa hivi. God will do something in your situation. Mungu atafanya kitu katika hali yako. It will cause it to change in the name of Jesus. Na Mungu atabadilisha mambo yako kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. 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 And I want to say I've seen somebody praying to the sun. Ni nataka niwaambie nimewahi kuona mtu akiomba jua. You know the Canaanites were called the city the, 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 the city of moon of the moon. Unajua wakana nayo wali eh, mji wao uliitwa Kanaani maana yake mji wa jua wa wa, wa, wa mwezi the moon or the sun the, who, the, instead of worshiping the architect who created it hivi inatokeaje uabudu jua au mwezi badala ya kuabudu yule aliyevitengeneza how many of you will choose to worship the real god the god wanasema wataamua kumwabudu mungu aliyepo hai ambaye ni Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliha. Wangapi wanapenda kumpa Yesu maisha yao? Haleluya. Haleluya. I want to say God will destroy every stronghold in your life. Nataka nikwambie Mungu ataharibu kila ngome macho yako. Think of the obstacles that are in your life right now. Fikiria yale mambo ya vizuizi ambayo unayakabili. Just that Jericho walls came down by the power of God. Na kuta za Yeriko ziliangushwa na nguvu za Mungu. The stronghold will be destroyed. The demonic activity. Hizo ngome zitaharibiwa. Hizo kazi za shetani zitaharibiwa. Jesus will be your helper right now. You want Yesu atakusaidia hata sasa hivi. You know I say what has happened in Jericho? Najua nikasema nini kilikuwa kinaendelea Yeriko? I need to know what else. Nikasema Mungu anasema Yeriko ni nini hiki? And I want to say this to you when we read the book of Luke chapter 19 verse 1 to 34. Ukisoma Luka 19 ah ule mstari wa kwanza hadi wa 34. Something happened there but let's go to the first. Let's go to the first thing that happened. And I'm going to close in a minute. Kuna vitu vilitokea na nataka tuangalie kitu kimoja kilichotokea. Read in your language Luke chapter 19. Naomba nisome kwa Kiswahili mlango wa 19 wa Luka mtakatifu Now let's let's read it quickly in your language so the first the first few verses it's 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 Zacharias and Jeremiah Ah Luka 19 mstari wa kwanza anasema naye alipoingia Yeriko alipita katikati yake na tazama palikuwa na mtu jina lake Zakayo mkubwa mmoja katika watoza ushuru naye ni tajiri huyu alikuwa akitafuta kumuona Yesu ni mtu wa namna gani asiweze kwa sababu ya umati wa watu maana ni mfupi wa kimo Last time when I was preaching uh, jana nilipokuwa ninahubiri and I thought of Zacchaeus nilimfikiria sana Zacchaeus and God opened my eyes to see like the, the crowd are way over there four people on the trees Ah uh, nili, niliangalia hii miti na katika ulimwengu wa roho nikawa naona ni kama kuna watu wamepanda juu ya hii miti Is it a vision? It may not happen by me, but Bishop, Bishop got to see that it coming one day. And the cool said here, you see this place completely full. Inawezekana mimi niliona katika ulimwengu wa roho, lakini askofu siku moja utashuhudia mtafanya mkutano hapa uwanja wote utajaa na watu watapanda juu ya hii miti. There will be people who are from Jesus. Watu watakuja wamejaa kiu na njaa kwa ajili ya Yesu watajaa uwanja huu wote. And the first Jericho na Yeriko ya kwanza. Let's let, let, let's fast forward the thing. Ebu ebu tu, tuvute ule mkanda wa Yeriko. We're talking about 1400 years from the time of Joshua. Tunaongea miaka 1400 baada ya Yoshua. 
Now to the time of Jesus entered. Hapa tuko kwenye kipindi cha Yesu akiingia tena Jericho. I'm here to tell you today was the same Jesus that destroyed a wall. Nataka nikwambie leo huyu Yesu anayeingia Jericho ni yule yule aliyeangusha ule ukuta wa Jericho. Now he came to the first to walk through Jericho. Sasa akaja mwilini atembee na yeye Jericho. The Bible says that he was entered Jericho. Biblia inasema alipoingia Jericho. There was a rich man named Zacchaeus. Alikuwa na tajiri mmoja aliyeitwa Zakayo. He was a tax collector. Alikuwa mtoza ushuru. This guy was rich. Alikuwa tajiri. He wanted to see Jesus. Na alitaka kumuona Yesu. I said he wanted to see Jesus. Nasema Zakayo alitaka kumuona Yesu. He was so shocked. Biblia inasema alikuwa mfupi sana. Kwa hiyo ikabidi apande mti. Jesus look I said come down Jack yes I'm going to your Yesu akaangalia juu akamwambia shuka zakayo ninaenda kwako leo. How many of you want to come to Jesus? Wangapi wanataka kuja kwa Yesu leo? Jesus told him I am going to come to your house today. Yesu akamwambia leo nataka niwe mgeni wako kwako. Do, do you know what the people said there is always a, a, a contender when somebody wants to do something good. Unajua kila wakati mtu akitaka kutenda mema kuna wapinzani ambao wao wanaonanga mabaya tu. Some people from the crowd they are talking. It's going to that's correct. Watu katika umati wakaanza kusema eh huyu Yesu anataka kwenda kwa mtoza ushuru amfahamu huyu mtu alivyo mbaya but Zacchaeus genuinely gave his heart to the Lord lakini kwa moyo wake wote Zakayo alitoa moyo wake kwa Yesu he said, Lord, if I've cheated anyone, na akamwambia Bwana hata kama kuna mtu niliwahi kumtapea I want to repay four times nitalipo mara nne kile nilichowanyang'anya that's what I call repentance huo hiyo ndio toba ya kweli not remorse Sio sio kujisikia tu vibaya. You know the difference between remorse and repentance? Hivi unajua tofauti ya kusikia vibaya kwa sababu ya dhambi na toba? A person uh, with remorse will just step on your feet and then oh, I'm sorry but never never meant it. Mtu ambaye yeye ana anajisikia tu vibaya anaanza akakukanyaga. Ah, akamwambia ah. Oh, a man was cheating on his wife. Samani and then when he bwana. get caught. When he get caught He said it felt his woman. Oh I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Au au mwanaume aliyekuwa ana ana anatembea na mwanamke mwingine nje ya ndoa, halafu akafumaniwa, akifumaniwa, anamwambia mke wake, "Oh, nisamee sana mke wangu, nisamee." He continued his sin. Lakini bado anaendelea kutenda huko dhambi huko akiwa amejificha. It is the test of God. Ni jambo la la kuchukiza sana kwa Mungu. But true repentance is to accept lakini toba ya kweli ni kukubali. I'm, I'm I'm Ana, anasema uh, kwa kweli nimetenda dhambi na ninahukumika sana kwa sababu ya dhambi yangu. Ni kugeuka kabisa kuangalia upande wa pili. Sitarudi tena huko. God want to repentance today. Mungu anataka toba ya kweli leo. As you run to Jesus. Ukimkimilia Yesu Just open your heart. Fungua moyo wako. Sincerely open your heart. Fungua moyo wako kwa ukweli. And say yeah, I am not Jesus. Na umwambie Yesu niko hapa. But there, is a, there was another man in Jericho as well. Lakini kulikuwa na mtu mwingine kule Jericho. They call him Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus. Alikuwa anaitwa Batimayo, mwana wa Timao. This man the Bible said he was blind. Biblia inasema huyu mtu alikuwa kipofu. How could a blind man See the Lord where there are many who have eyes to see they cannot see him. Hivi inawezekanaje kipofu akamuona Yesu? Kumbe we kuna wengine wengi wana macho na wamuoni Yesu. Oh, I pray that God open your eyes to see. Ninaomba Mungu akufungue macho yako uweze kumuona. He heard the crowd he said what's happening? Akasikia makelele akauliza ni nini kinaendelea hapa? Then he said Jesus son of David. Alafu akaita Yesu mwana wa Daudi. Have mercy on me. Ni urumi. Mercy Lord. Ni rumi. Jesus. Yes. Son of David. Mwana wa Daudi, niurumie. You see the contenders were there. Shut up, shut up. Unajua wale wapinzani ambao wakosekani kwenye makundi walikuepo wanamwambia nyamaza, nyamaza. But he cried even louder. Lakini walipomwambia hivyo akalia kwa sauti kubwa zaidi. Jesus. Yes. Son of David. Mwana wa Daudi. Ni rumi, ni rumi, ni rumi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Miguu yake. Stop Jesus on his track. 
ikasimamisha Yesu njia. Nina ninaombi moja kwako leo. Je, imani yako itamsimamisha Yesu akuangalie leo? Imani yako itamsimamisha Yesu akuatazame? Angalie ni nini unacholilia? You don't know how to change the situation. Ujui namna ya kubadilisha hali. Son of David have mercy on me. Umekuwa ukimlilia Yesu mwana wa Daudi nihurumie. You know when Jesus stopped. Yesu aliposimama. Jesus tell him what do you want? Yesu anamuuliza unataka nikufanyie nini? Oh what a nice God we serve. Tuna Mungu mzuri ja au tunayemtumikia. Ni Mungu aliyejaa upendo. You see the pain. Anaona maumivu of Bartimaeus. Ya ya Bartimaeo. He said okay. We we cover your sight. Akamwambia basi He was not only, he was not only, only receiving his view his side back he couldn't even he couldn't even see but that day he was about to see yani ni kipofu ambaye hajawahi kuona lakini siku hiyo alienda nyumbani anao but jesus saved him too at the same time maana pili yesu alimwokoa maana aliona na akapokea wokovu I'm done. How many of you want a double blessing today? Wangapi wanataka baraka maradufu leo? Unataka baraka maradufu leo? Naomba usogee kwake umwambie na kuipokea. Wewe usijali watu wengine. Wewe unayemtaka Yesu kimbia kwa Yesu. Kama Batimayo alivyofanya. This man didn't have eyes but he could he could he could go to Jesus. Yeye hakuwa na macho lakini aliweza kumwendea Yesu. Would you come right now? Una, unaweza ukaja sasa kama unamtaka Yesu. We humble us a bit for you right now. We know that there are many in the crowd that seeking for you. Baba tunajua kuna wengi hapa wanaokuhitaji. They want a change. Na wanataka mabadiliko. A change in their life. Wanataka mabadiliko ya maisha. But there have been many opposition. Lakini wana upinzani mkubwa. Sometimes the enemy has said lies to them. Mara nyingi shetani amewasadanganya. Ana anawasemesha uongo masikio. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth. Satan you have no power over the people. Satan kuna mamlaka juu ya watu wa Mungu. Maana Yesu yuko hapa. His arms are open. Mikono yake imefunguka. Kuwapokea watoto wake. Because everyone here. Maana kila mmoja hapa. Are wonderfully made. Ni wameumba wa ajabu. Mbai na Mungu wao. According to Psalm 139. Sawa sawa na Zaburi 139. Wonderfully shaped. Wa, wameumba wa ajabu. And you have a purpose in it. Na unakusudi juu ya maisha yako. everyone here today kwa kila mmoja aliyekuwa kama ulivyonitoa dhambi na kuniokoa na leo ninatangaza ufano wa Mungu oh e Mungu mkuu oh e Mungu mkuu Zacchaeus was a testimony Zacchaeus Zacchaeus was a testimony alikuwa ushuhuda his life now was turned around maisha yake yalibadilika akawa ushuhuda wa Yesu Kristo kwa wa, kwa watu wengine. Oh God Almighty. Bwana Mungu mkuu. Unasema kila ajaye hapo. Atakuwa kiume kipya. Mambo yote yatakuwa yamepita. Mambo ya zamani yote yatakuwa mapya. Through Christ Jesus. Kupitia Yesu Kristo. That's why you call us the righteous. Maana ndio tunatuita wenye haki wa Mungu. Through Christ Jesus. Kupitia Yesu. Touch your people right now. Gusa watu wako leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pause to ask Naomba tukiwa tumetulia niulize swali. How many of you wangapi wewe? Just like Zacchaeus. Kama Zakayo. You say Lord I want to know you. Unasema nataka Bwana Yesu nataka nikujue. As Lord and Savior. Nataka nikujue uwe Bwana na mwokozi wangu. Nionyesha mkono wako. Just come right now. Nionyesha mkono wako. Wewe una moyoni unasema kama Zakayo. Nataka Yesu nikujue. Uwe Bwana uwe mwokozi wangu. Ninakupa nafasi simama Jesus na usogee hapa. Wewe uliyeinua mkono, usiogope mtu yeyote. Sogea hapa. Yesu yuko hapa. 